Make sure you follow me on social media to get updates and ask me questions. Enjoy the video. Let's think about Twitter. If you are following somebody, then when you hover on the button, you see the text that says unfollow. And if you are not following somebody, then you see this new button that says follow. I will implement this in view. As you can see here, I'm starting from zero. I have only included view here and bootstrap right here. And I have created the view instance and it is mounted to the div with id app. So first I will start by initializing my data. We will need the data property and I will create an attribute follows. The initial value will be false. Follows will help us to determine whether we follow the user or not. Now inside the div, I will create a button and I will add some bootstrap classes to make the appearance a bit better. So button, follow, and inside here I can say class, btn, btn success. And I will create another one for unfollow and change this from success to danger. I will save this file as follow and I will open it on the browser. So this should be the result. Now, of course, we should get only one button, follow or unfollow. So if the value here follows is true, then we should get the unfollow button. And if follows is false, then we should get the follow button. To achieve this, we need to use the if directive. In view, directives are special attributes with the v dash prefix, so something like this. So in order to use if, we have to say v if, and to show the follow button, we have to check if follows is false. To do this, we simply have to say here follows equals to false, or just to make this a bit better and more compact, not follows. Now the opposite is for unfollow, but here we can just say v else. Something that you have to keep in your mind is that if you use vf to a button, then vls should also be applied to a button element, otherwise it will not work. So if I save this and I go back, this should be the outcome. We only get the follow button because follows is false, so we are not following the user. Of course, if you click on this button, nothing happens. However, if I open my console, and because we are saving the view instance to a variable vm, I can access this. I can do something like this, vm.follows equals to true, because initially it is false, so now I'm setting it to true. And you see the unfollow button. And of course you can set this again to false to get the follow button, like this. So I will add the click event that will change follows value on click. So on click, I want follows to change from false to true. And we can listen for this at click. I want follows now to be equal to true. And the opposite is for the unfollow button on click. Follows equals to false. So let's go back to the browser and see the results. So if I click follow now, it turns to unfollow. And if I click unfollow, it turns back to follow. Now to better understand this, and have actually a look at the value of follows, I will print it in a way that the view allows me to do. So below the buttons, I will create a pre-tag, and inside here I will open double curly braces and I will output data. Do not forget the dollar sign at the front. So if I go back to this now, you can see that we also have the follows data here, with the value of course. So initially it is false, however when you click on it, it turns to true. So now we are following the user and we have this unfollow button. And if you click again, you will get now follows to false. So if you're creating a social networking website with Vue.js, then this is all what you need to implement the follow and unfollow buttons. Of course, because you're making HTTP calls to change the values in the database, the click event should have a function and not as we have done it here. So instead, just use a function for this but we will come to this later in the course when we will start using an API. For now, I think that this is pretty cool and yeah, it works.